it's been a dream of mine for many years to go to Samoa and take on some of the biggest GT in the whole world. I'd finally booked the trip. I was gonna head over with John from Molossi. Unfortunately, there was a couple little hiccups. John's trying to convince me that this trip we booked it is sick. two months ago is gonna be great. It's fine, look. It looks fine. 9K. Chill. Yeah, There's no way. Happy? Yeah, it looks good, man. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. That's an actual oh, hurricane. Uh, yeah, heaps of current. <laughs> okay. All right. Attention, please. We've still decided to go but the whole trip has changed. Instead of heavy tackle, we're now gonna focus on spinning light tackle on the reef flats for colorful little jimmies and anything sporty that wants to hit. This is the story of fishing Samoa in conditions that usually you wouldn't go on a trip. <laughs> thinking it was going to be a hurricane, so I think we're pretty stoked that there's some calm waters. I'm stoked. I'm very stoked. If Molossi pops off, can you please get one of them that says Molossi on the yeah, side? It'd be the two of us. <laughs> yeah, that's sick. Breakfast is served, bro. She is sharp. Avocado for breakfast. We haven't even off got off the ferry and Briggs is tripping. There's bait everywhere. <laughs> In theory, this is the most nuked zone possible because this is where all the people are. And there's already like four baits swimming around everywhere that just got bocked a second ago. <laughs> Current line coming off the tip. Right. We have to have one cast here before he's set off. And there's a Rodney. You've got a leader, eh? Yeah. TD Soul 2500. Yeah, and a wicked weasel. Car park hookups. We're gonna have a little walk around the fence. Let's lock oh, the wait. car and have a little walk. You got the key? Didn't even make it out of the fury. Got, got the Louis. Every tree is loaded with coconuts here. So oh. far from what I've seen, I haven't seen a tree with. Are you getting excited about the most whack part of this whole trip? I would set up camp in this <laughs> car park and be so happy. We haven't even made it off the fury. We got coconuts. And fish. Throw that over this morning to this other island. Less inhabited island. You're on, bro. On. I think walk the dog, eh? Although, it's pretty deep. Let's try dog first, and if no hook up, minnow. Yeah, you, now you go, you go. You are the visitor, bro. You no. go. I'll rig it, you go. Really? What do you want, small or large? Large. I'll, I'll have my eye on this thing. Okay. Since I seen you make that. Froth it. What do you think about the final action? So sick. Oh, yes! Good fish. <laughs> oh, my what God, bro. Stripey. No. It's something what is else, that? bro. It's sick. It's so sick. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> First fish in Samoa, bro. I'm so stoked. Ew. Yes. That's right, You're a madman. I'm so happy. No water release on this guy. Look at those top spines on that thing. Dude. Look at the fish. Can someone ID that, please? I'm just going to go the length of it. It's so cool, bro. Sick looking fish. Happy man? Very happy. First fish in Samoa. <laughs> Didn't even make it out of the car, but. <laughs> oh. Yes. Should we take him on our trip? It's actually a dingo. Oh, he's cute as, bro. You want to come on big trip? You can't fit in. All I've got for you is a fart. I'm sorry. Uh. Suffocating. Yeah. <laughs> shnoo shnoo. Do you know shnoo shnoo? No. <laughs> you should say shnoo shnoo. Oi! <laughs> different over here bro although i feel like you drive the speed 
then we drive back home, whereas everyone else has gone like 10 guys an hour. Yeah, I'll punch it. Stuff comes up <laughs> real quick with John driving home. Those things are sick. There's an Ulu tree. What's it? How do you say it? Ulu. 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 Is that like a GT in Hawaiian? No, Ulu. See the breadfruit? Ulu. Ulu. Oh, Ulu. breadfruit? Yeah, breadfruit tree. Ulu trees. How do, you, how do you say a GT in Hawaiian? Ulua. Alua. Oh, Ulua. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that Ulu. Ulu. Are those little flags patriotic? Yeah. I didn't realise how tall this island is. It's touching the clouds, man. It's a big one. You ever hiked up there? Yeah. No GT up it's there, right? It's basically like a bunch of big volcanoes. <laughs> I think this is probably the first coconut I've legitimately drank sliced with a machete. Usually I've like used a piece of coral to bang it 5,000 times. Bro, <laughs> and it's chilled. Yeah, because it's been in the ASCII. <laughs> yeah, I'll put it on the fridge for you. Amazing. We sharing? No, you have it. I have the other one. Oh, it's the jelly. Yeah. This is the life, bro. <laughs> what are we been doing back in well, Australia? Welcome to Samoa, bro. Let's just move here. <laughs> How's the cows just tied to trees randomly? <laughs> Do you reckon the World Economic Forum have gotten this message? <laughs> what? That looks crazy, yeah. There'd be stuff in there. We're, we're falling over. Is it fresh we're water over. though? We're pulling over here somewhere. So there's a sick tidal zone in there that we're gonna flick. And there's also ocean side flicky flicky. Alright, we're setting our gear up. We're gonna get camera gear out, everything out, and we're gonna go fishing. Water bottle. Hi. This is all my gear that I packed. All my reels. Reel. Gloves. Oh, here's me light Louise, mate. I've got them already ready, actually. Sunnies, later. Joe, the Joe, Joe Wilds recommend. Are they good on the wet slippery still though? Nothing's good on the wet slippery. Okay. I always picture bag handlers dancing on my rod tube. Water less cam, head cam, and all the batteries. John, I'm returning Bye. you. You want? Thank you very much. I'm going top water, even though she's choppy. Probably out of these two. I think I'm gonna go this. Tonic color, which is the greeny AU kind of color. Oh, I've got the feels, bro. Have you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Great, I thought it was gonna be pissing rain the whole time we were here. Yeah, this is like we're fishing, man. There's wee bus ups in here, John. How's your shoes feeling? Yeah, bro. It's another one of them. Tiny little stripey looking thing, which I caught, I think a big one this morning. Don't know what they are. I'd actually call that water temp like close to 30 degrees, man. On me. Did you? Oh! Oh, no! Look at this cod, bro. <laughs> Crevlord 4000. He's buried his head into a rock and he's flared his gills and I can't pull him out. Fuck. Oh, 
much more spotty than the cod we get back home. Again, I'm not sure of the ID on this, so if anyone knows the ID, please enlighten me. This will be the quickest release to crab, I think, that's ever happened. Let's see it, mate. Tide's definitely coming in, eh? Johnny. Aaron. What's your name? Al. Al? Sydney. Aaron. Aaron. Where's your from? Australia. Australia. We're trying to catch little fish. Yes. For fun. I'm gonna try. Yeah, but I like to catch in in tide pools. Because yep. it's just it's kind of funny that there'd be a fish in the tide pool. So I'm gonna try here. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, there's another one on it. There was another one with him. Look, the other one. See the other? What, what do you call this in Samoan? Well, how do you say it? Ava Ava. Ava Ava. Ava Ava, they're called. Yeah. I'm going to put him back. Uh, keep him here so he can breathe. And then... Oh, careful, help. careful, careful, careful. Okay. Oh, sp so spiky. Ah, ah no. <laughs> hey, careful, you're hooking, you're hooking your mate. <laughs> Briggsy, even in Samoa, mobbed by fans. He's got a little, a little posse with him. Do you go fishing? Yeah. What do you use for fishing? Like line or net? Like nets? Ah, uh, yeah. Do you eat uh, avava? Do you ever eat that? Yes. Oh, are they good? Mm. I eat Yep. Yes. Yes. Whoa. Emperor. I don't have the pliers. Oh. Woo. Little emperor. I don't know what type. Maybe long nose emperor. Yes. We need pliers. Very slippy. We should probably go barbless so. though. We're gonna be releasing. Do you want it? Do you want? You would eat it? Yeah. Okay. Ah. Uh. Yeah, fuck guy, Briggsy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, boys. Fast off what? Bye bye. Bye bye. Oi! <laughs> How do you say goodbye? Far. 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 Just F A. Fa sui fua. Fa sui fua. Sui. 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 Su. U. U. Su. E. Sui. 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 Fa sui fua. Fa sui fua. I think I'll stick with. I'll stick with fa. 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 Cast together. <gasps> that this salt water. It's salt water. That's one of those stripy things right there. Let's do this, bro. I'm just going straight at that stick. At the stick to get the far out guy. Yep. Bro. Oh my god, break It's Full salt water estuary zone. <laughs> Another one of those things. Wait, by the way, it spiked me and it was deadly. Very owie. These guys tend to bock it. Foul hooked. I'm gonna try and do hook in a safe way. Oh, you on? On and off. Briggsy swooping.
Dude, I can't explain the hits that I just received. <laughs> let's let's hit a new zone of it. Briggsy rig up, Briggsy rig rigs up there. All right, and we're filming it. So we've realised that there's all these fish trapped in this little pond here, and what we're doing is going to shoot a little video for the echoes. He's going to film me put this on. We're going to cast out, in theory, hook a fish on like the first or second cast and then get a good hold up of it, get a nice shot of the lure, release. Water release too? Yeah. All right, you tell me when. Let's go. The only claws might be if there's a real open zone like in the other pond, because there's two ponds to this up there. Let's have just a quick one, just a quick one. Okay, just a sniff, bro. Hello. Thank you. We peppered part of this pond at the other end, but this is a big open area here that hasn't seen a lure. This one? Yeah, no, it's perfect. Oh, bro, what are you going at? Oh, oh! Yeah, bro. Oh! Yes! buggers last cast well i don't know where else we're going <laughs> if the wind just turned like that we'll just go check in look at the wind chart and what it says for tomorrow full estuary lords <laughs> wow that's really picked up eh? it's coming from what like, northwest I tomorrow morning we're gonna kayak out to that Island out there. I love the painted on rocks. <laughs> it's, it's a classic. It's thing. classic, bro. Yeah. It's a bit choppy now, but this is going to be glass tomorrow. Oh, it looks Ooh. sweet. Aircon, everything. Thank you. My feet are pretty filthy. So, it's Chilled as bro. Two seats, two beds, <sighs> disc. And the ocean right there. Big unload. Kristen? Meow meow. Meow meow. Scaredy cat. I'm gonna just go get all the stuff, bring it here. We're gonna set up reels. For the energy, yeah. So tired, man. Sleep's pretty important, though. Day two, mate. How you feeling today? Way better. Way better. Today, we have a bit of a mission. It could be a chilled mission, or it could be a gnarly mission, depending on what the weather does. Right now, it's Please calm. Be chill. Please be chill. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, you frothing? That's good. Frothing. 
Do you want any flavouring on your one? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oi, it looks sick out there, man. Plenty of light tackle to pep around here. And then that up there looks like we've got a chance at G2, which is sick. Yum. It's so sweet, bro. That's a local market, Paw Paw, which is our brekkie. So the way we're doing it is strapping rods together. One person with rods. And then we'll have a bag each with all the reels. I just came in here to rinse my spoon and had a look at myself. And I look like the dude off The Prodigy. You know, he has that wild, bald centre with the skit size. You're the five star team. Yeah, yeah. I think he died, man. Yeah, dude. It's very humid here. All right, shoes on. I'm gonna dig out a couple kayaks that we've seen over there. Maybe like half an hour paddle. It's over a kilometer and the yak, they're not like <laughs> racing yaks by any means. <laughs> if they're that slippery, you got a problem, man. <laughs> out on the ledge. <laughs> <That one. laughs> what else is there? Are they all broken? Oh, I don't mind a little breaky. Because I don't get the good paddle, I get to choose the arc. I'll probably go brown. Yeah, brown? Yeah, I think so. I like that one. It's got a fish hatch, bro. It's got, um... If you flip it, and that fills with water. <laughs> There's no bung here either. Never seen an oar like that, eh? Big touch up. Is journey part two? <laughs> Boy, these are, li these are little yaks. Come here. That's good. Okay. So this is the axe here. She feels stable enough. Yeah, she's good. There's nothing wrong with that. About a K to the island. But this little bad boy's gonna make it. Ew! I ruptured my bicep tendon rock climbing the other day. Fortunately for me, the swell's so big we can't really even go for GT probably. Smaller paddle on my left because that's my damaged bicep. We're out there, bro. Paw paw on back beans for brekkie. It's gonna fuel the fire. Six on. It's nice to pull the arc up. And yeah. It's big barrels. Tides drop in, but we'll take the axe all the way up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you got a bit. Big. <laughs> Let's have a quick little look. I'm just suss the rocky bull winkle. Right. Yeah, yeah. Chuck the axe back in, paddle up through here, through this gap, and then come in from the back. Yeah. Oh. They got styrofoam stuck in to block the holes on this one. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. do too. <laughs> I'm just stoked there was some yaks to get out here. Setting off again. Are we going to try and punch through there to get to the calm water? Or will that nuke the zone? I reckon that's too shallow, bro. Sucking up dry. Yeah. That's also current dropping out of there. You see that? Big current here. Punch.
Adventure. That would have been pretty funny trying to go up there. We wouldn't have got in. So much current. Yeah, you could probably just walk your yak. I think there's going to be a GT there, man. Look at the current. This entire flat is draining through these holes here. So I think on that other side, there'll be bang bangs eating the fish, the bait, everything that's coming out of here. We could be actually on heavy tackle here. Bro, this looks really good, man, for heavy tackle. Looks a wee bit funny. I reckon it's cool, though. It'll be a dodgy but doable. I think it looks dodgy but doable, the amount of current, but I'll give it a go. Jimmy Turtle taught me how to paddle. He was a professional kayaker, bro. Yeah, he was like Olympic level when he was a kid. Oh, I'm in it. I'm in it. How's it? Huh? It's good. You just gotta punch it. my John that's a really deep channel how's this final that's final perfect waves out there sick GT zone here major flatsy zone here we're out here bro got everything from light medium to heavy here well here's your reel big dog here's Briggsy's reel cheers bro Cheeky. I'm gonna put in some casts here, man. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Five seconds later on the light in here. Flicky. 20k Saltiga P8 Saltiga EX Braid. Can you grab me one of the small ones out, actually? My special rigged one, mate. My special one. Molossi Signature Series. The first of many to come. The water is so warm. Warmer than the air, and the air's hot. Let's go! We've been casting heavy for about half an hour. No hits. It's the outgoing tide at the moment. So we're wondering, maybe on the incoming tide, that might be when the bangers come in and are cruising along here hunting. Not 100% sure on that. We could get a bang bang today. Like, I reckon there could be one somewhere along here. Alua, Alua. I'm actually going to rig up my light and my medium because we're going to wade this flat and have a flick. My light tackle setup is a 2500 Sol, a TD0742LXS, which is just the setup I got that tune on. A few vids back. Mental. Wouldn't mind getting a bit of variety today. See what's out there. Could be some new cool species that I haven't caught before. Very excited about that. Chosen out this frost color. I'm actually going to bar the frost colour because it's overcast. I'm going yellow. Nuke colour, Molossi Echo, 80F. The flats have never seen something like this before, mate. Breezy having a quick little cast here while John's getting his last things ready. Big hit. Oh, big hit. Big hit, Sam. Oh, bro. Huge. Huge. Snap. I'm getting my medium. That's ridiculous, bro. That was huge. Do you love it, eh? Do you love that? I love it. <laughs> Oh! 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 Oh!
I got it! I got it! It's coming! What fish? Good fish! Bluefin! Oh, it's sick, bro! <laughs> Oh, I'm frothing then. Very light setup for that fish on the flats. It's beautiful fish. Oh, dude. So pretty. Oh, bro. <laughs> yes. That's so good. Man. Oh, thanks. I am real happy. I just got absolutely destroyed by something big in the little gap over here so i'm gonna step up to p2 40 pound leader so i'll take a 4000 p2 and i'm using this old rod which is the supercaster 762 mhfs same lure same color this is cool this little suck out sign Yep. Nah, it's little. Didn't even see it. I was looking where I was walking. Oh! Psycho looking wrasse. Like a long banana fish wrasse looking thing. It actually looks quite tasty to be honest. He didn't put up much of a fight because of his body shape. He just streamlined into me. It's a longie, yeah. Full longie. Oh, do you know how nice it is to just be able to sit in the water? Not worry about stingers. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Tropical looking whiting. It's not a whiting. I think it's like some kind of rasp, but it looks like a whiting. Just super tropo version. It's got blue on it even, eh? Pretty cool, man. Sick fish. All right, we'll set him free. You. you. He crabbed. That's cool. Sick, man. I'm frothing on this color now, even in the sun. Yeah. Yellowy, man. I love yellow and green on lures. So nice to be able to walk through water and not worry about stingers. Oh, hey, this looks really good, bro. I'll wait for you. Keep going. Where's the bluefin at? I can see fish. Oh! That was some kind of trouter looking thing, bro. Did you cast the entrance? Yeah, I think it's kind of lagoony, bro. But then it's shallow up there. Up, but it's in the Oh, it's like... oh no. Okay, okay. You're right. Don't, don't. It's, just, it's not that big. It's not as big as I think. Like as it looked. Sick take, bro. Bluefin. I think it's a bluey. Yeah. Oh! Yes. Did you see just there and um, like bigger than it red bass was on the lure trying to bite it So sick well, here, right? On the entrance to the current zone again they must just hang you. They're hanging that current waiting for bait <laughs> That's probably the biggest bluefin I've ever caught to be honest. I haven't caught many blueies Beautiful pretty cool, bro Are you stoked? I'm very stoked. I'm gonna water release it. Nice All right
so clear. The water's so clear. Why don't we switch into divers, bro? Many divers up here. I might go a darker colour. Just mix it up a bit. Uh-huh. Tonic colour. With all of these, I just do a loop knot at the front. Keeps the lure nice and free to swim. Loopy. Oh, I'm pretty excited. New lure, I'd like just to see what happens now. The old flick as you walk. Might pay off to use the mini micros out here. Eh? Oh! You'll get it. I like you can swim out to that. That's a bag off situation though, mate. Oh! How are we? Oi, something out there, man. You see that? Oh, it's a tailing fish. Blue fins, I think. Watch this. Yep. Something bigger. Big. It was a tailing blue fin, I think, bro. Don't go down. No. That's just the fish. Oh, bro. I just have to. I just have to do what it does. Where are you? Oh man, bluefin, good one. There's a tailing blue, bro. I'm good, I'm good. Big fish, man. Bigger. Oh, there's a big one. He's big, man. <laughs> Huge. Huge, careful, careful, careful. The lure's not coming out. The lure's not coming out. I, I saw him tailing, bro. Oh, I, I don't know that, it's all right. All we're good, right. we're good, we're good. As I said a second ago, that last blue fin was the biggest bluefin I'd ever caught. Big upgrade for Briggsy just now. Shark oh, crushed it. Dude. Man. You called it, eh? Yeah, I thought it was bluefin too. Oh. Shit fish, man. How happy are you? Shark starved. Shark skin. Very happy I've brought this shark up now. Woo. Fins out of the water, splashing around. So and sight casted. Beautiful, man. Ah, nice. Wow. Pelagic pursuits are really good fishermen. Yeah. When I do something like that, see tailing fish and stuff, I just feel like I'm maddie and to actually know what I'm doing for a second. Big call. Big call for him, like talker. Yeah. Oh, like riding myself off. Yeah. I've always thought of myself as put in the cast kind of guy and not necessarily that skill. Yeah, I'll, I'll there. <laughs> oh, what's oh, happened my here? God, my bag, like, taking off. Oh. It? No, 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 it's dry, it's dry, it's dry. Less casting, more walking. We've got to get back before the high tide comes too much. High tide's coming, mate. I think it's going to be a little gnarly on high with waves coming in from the outer reef. We just need to get over. Yeah. So that we can just cruise back to the beach yeah. if it gets mental. Oh yeah! Yeah bro! Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh. <laughs> what a skate! It's actually... It came from Australia. Same thing, eh? Sick, man. Your favourite? Oh, oh, it's gone! <laughs> we didn't even... 
Oh, I'm pretty keen for a heavy cast. There's a lot of current now with the high pushing in. We're going to cast heavy, to be honest. Get a hit. Reefed. Like hook up and reef. Damn. I'm going to have a few heavy. There, where the two currents are joining. That's my theory. If I was a bang bang, double current surely is better than single current. kilometers an hour and did that like full arc on it did you see the water after i would have just gone water skiing then full water ski <laughs> yep. no nah. i'm very scared Interesting how all the hits have been over there, oh. I think we got a bail. It's looking real gnarly on the way back now, so this will be my last cast. Was a GT. I just lost my hook because it had a cyst. It had a brown tail. Yeah, it was a Barracuda. Damn it. Different hook. Huge cootie. Well, I'm just going to throw the big one. I think we're overstaying our welcome here in terms of swell and getting back. It's full waves breaking now. Like, I think we'll be able to do it. It's just going to be a bit of an adventure on the way in on these tiny little poo poo, poo, -poo mobiles. Instant snip on the cootie. It's so hard to leave when there's like big fish action. See how all the waves are facing that way? That whole thing's like current now. I reckon we got a bow. Yeah, punch it to those rocks and then keep sending it to the beach. Oh, I can't believe we got snipped. Reels all in bag. Just got rod ties for the rods. I put four on on the way out. The two heavies on the outside and then everything else faced upwards like that. Oh, I'm going to hurt, sorry. <laughs> 
Man, the, angry ones. the big ones were like freight trains. Well, I might just wear my backpack in case we capsize. Bro. Good little moment. Brock. All right. Yeah, yeah. The swell's just huge. I think it's picked up even more since morning. The chopper. It's so clear, the water, man. So clear. I think I'm going to take my bag off, eh? Bag off. Spinal tap was getting beyond real. Oh. <laughs> I just dodged a rock using paddle skill, which I didn't know I had. Ah, that's good enough. Oh! Little shades on. Briggsy's got his eye on a coco. Rod's in the tree. Oh, someone's cut footholds in it. How good's that, man? My legs are so summer. How are yours? Oh, I don't know about that. With the bum arm. Oh, the bum arm. The bum, uh, bung arm was just killing me then. This one? What about the What about this one? This one? Watch out, watch out. You want one? Nah, my arm's dying. My bad arm. Chalbers. We got a couple cokies. But getting into them is never easy, to say the least. Sharp rock necessary. Something like that, to be honest. Yeah. Put my gloves on to hold on to that sharpish rock for the bang bang. Different kind of bang bang. Look at that wave! Bro! Real big too, it's like, it's like double overhead now. What a cool tree. That tree is gonna provide drink, food, and shade. Pretty much made for humans. Food, water, and shade, all in one. It broke! This is like a full axe. It's made for it. I'm lucky we found it. A bit more touch up. Oh, yeah, we're on here.
I, I think it's a good one. Might give it a rinse. It's definitely full though. Like I can feel the liquid in it. So tough. Here we go. Oh, we're in. Nah, I don't think you I don't care. Have you got a um, knife? You can just open the eyes. Uh, I do somewhere. This thing I reckon is going to be full of water, it's so heavy. It's not sloshing I think because it's just full. Oh, I'd say the technique. So, so there's, there's, there's three three eyelets, right? Yeah. You normally just do one for the ear and okay. one for the... Yeah. Squirtle yeah. And, and drinky. And, and, yeah. Oh, that's a hard one. One of them will be easy. One, easy that's the other. easy one. And you just basically need to get the ear flow so it flows. Uh, yeah, put it down. <laughs> Towards your body, eh? Yeah, and nice. I want to eat mine too after though. Yeah, and you just crack it. Oh. Get your ears far away. Oh, bro. You. Cheers. Smack it on a rock, eh? I hope there's a bit of flesh in this. Oh yeah, bro. Oh. Yeah, and he's eating your teeth. Yum. I'm gonna use a shell to scoop. Oi! The shell scooper! Oh, look at this. Oh! Where's the shell? <laughs> Oh, I got the whole thing out, man. Look at that. Oh, give me a shot. It's obviously the perfect curvature for it. Mm. Made for it. No, in there. What? Big. It's actually made for the job, man. Look at that. That was nearly a perfect shelling. Ah. Full high tides pretty much right now. And we're going to go for a Wanda. John's on... 10 pound, 30 pound liter. Briggs is on 20 pound, 40 pound liter. Same setup, I got the big blue fin on. What are you gonna throw? Probably a minnow. Minnow, because it's a bit choppy and stuff, eh? Yeah. What are you feeling? Um, the Bugsy model, maybe? Divey? It's yeah. Perfect. Okay. I might walk it. Prawn color. We put the coconuts here to see if the crabs would want it. Cause they all came out, eh, when we opened the coconut, they came out of the bush. And we put these up here and they're swarming. That's like zombie apocalypse for coconuts. Go for it. Oh! Yeah. Well, how was that? Instant on. Yeah. <laughs> Can't even move freaking 10 meters. Sick little emperor, bro. <laughs> kind of. Maybe I should walk out a little, eh? It's pretty chilled. Swell wise. Yes! 
There were so many, bro. Phew. This zone in here looks pretty good. Balance between inner bay and outer bay. This is little baby GT zone. Or baby bluefin zone. Oh! Yeah. No, no, I haven't got the coconut, bro. Oh, I've got the coconut. No, no, uh, it's a big one. It's a big one. Where are you? Um, you're over. You're over. You're over, over. Dan, 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 Dan. I literally hooked a coconut when you hooked a fish. Yeah. <laughs> That's a trip alley. What is it? Baby trip. Keep walking back. I'm walking to the edge. Oh, there's one with it. Yeah, but I've got a coconut. <laughs> a cat car. <laughs> oh. Can I quickly hold up my coconut? Wait, that's it. That's not a blue, bro. Oh, that's it's a GT. It's like a G. <laughs> Coco on the micro. I fully hooked it. Oh, that's an edible Coco too, by the way. Oh, I'm just so hooked up here, bro. Sorry. I can drop my Coco. Release. I'll put my stuff down. I'll come help you. I'm just taking my glove off because I have multiple hooks in fingers. Like a little G, but it's all skinny. It's like a tea leaf trevally, I think. A, yeah. Maybe a tea leaf or grassy. But no, I think I think tea leaf. Pretty cool. Answer, please let us know what you reckon yeah. that is. We don't know. I don't think it's G though. So wavy and windy and gnarly. I'm gonna switch to probably a diver. Same as John. I'm gonna go again, the higher contrast. Uh, bit more high contrast tonic color. We're right, heading it out here to where we can see some rocks out of the water. Tide's dropping now. Only has to drop about 50 centimeters and this will be dry. Yeah. Set up! <laughs> you! Oh! I got hit right when the set hit, bro. I got a hit. Yep. Yeah. Nah. Emperor. Cruise. Oh. Oh. Big shark. Wow. Meter and a half. Right there. Beautiful bluefin. Oh. This is sick. I haven't walked the flats like this for years, man. Well, it's like twitching it. your fish man you got a huge emperor oh. Oh. it's an emperor oh, it's a long nose emperor. emperor yes oh my god oh, my oh that's oh. 
Oh, sick! <laughs> Oi! Let's go walk it back, bro. Walk it back. I think it's pretty swollen, bro. Hooked in? Okay, cool, cool. Boy, now you're really walking the dog, mate. That's a beautiful dog. Hold that for a sec. Hold that for a sec. Oh my god. Don't move, don't move, don't move. Go get your rod, get your rod. What is going on? There's a huge bluefin right here. Again. One more, one more. Me. Oh no! I dropped it. It dropped it. <laughs> oh, that was sick. <laughs> Let's get a shot of this fish. That was sick. Beautiful oh. fish, man. Oh my god! That's a big emperor. Long nose emperor. Yeah. Camouflage color. Shots to Louis. <laughs> Minion ADF. We're running out of daylight, and I'm gonna go something brighter. I want like a, oh, that's the one. Quick back crack. Carrying your backpack all day, such a spinal tap. Little neck. Finishing out the day on ether color. Same diver, different color. We're gonna go up, try and fish some of these other little zones. Try those little inlets, bro. Oh, big ones and stuff. Like full yeah, daddy. Right daddy ones. They're kind of like ticks. Oh! Yeah. Just a little empty. There's heaps of these fellas about the same size. Little emperor. Beautiful pinky fins. And a red inside of their throat. I don't think it's a red throat emperor because they look quite different. You've probably seen so many of these released today, water. I'm just gonna put him free here. Woo! Oh, we can get out there. It's hell shallow. About to lose the sun behind the cloud. I'm gonna try and run out there a bit. And hooked really far out and it went just straight around the corner. Nothing I could do on that one. Oi! Like that was big. Big, big. I should have just walked to the tip, I would have had it. But I, I just had one on the way out. 
Well, that's the end for me. John's still got a lure, so he's having a few more casts. Have one more over this way. Yeah. And then I think we're pretty needing to paddle back, eh? Right. If we want any light left. John! Where's the goey? Where's the goey? I got it. I got it. I got it, bro. Your hat's gone, though. Got the goey. Oh, man. Sorry, I didn't help you at all. I was just like... I was like... Oh. Yeah, lift your leg up. Got the leagues in the air and everything. John! Joe. Joe. Joe Wilds recommend. Are they good on the wet slippery still though? Let's go, alright. One more! Oh yeah, one more one more. Ah. Sick day bro. Sick day. You mini hooker. I'm gonna sort our gear out, put the rods together, put the reels in bags, and then send it. Oh, we're in. It's a deep channel that we're going through here. <laughs> Big tiger zone. Murky tiger zone, actually. Potential fully zone? Phew. That's such a fun day. Mental sunset. We're just teabagging out here. So peaceful.